Hi, I'm James Steller, and I'm the director and visual effects supervisor for Frosty. I'm Bradford N. Smith, the writer of Frosty. It was a really great experience working with the writer. He approached me sometime last year, and he said, I really want to make a film with you, James. He called me late one night and said, you know, James, I know you like Pixar and everything, but I have this dark story that I want to pitch to you. You know, a lot of people have been asking, Bradford, how'd you come up with the idea? Well, you know, I've always been a huge fan of Christmas, and this idea dates way back to, you know, when I was like a little boy. A child filled with imagination, I had the idea for a nuclear-powered Frosty the Snowman who went around destroying towns and causing mayhem. As I matured, that story became the one about Frosty, the top-secret government project accidentally implanted with a Nazi brain. Um, I heard, when I heard about Frosty at first, I was like, okay, a snowman uh, who's evil, I don't know what to do with that. But after I read the script, um, I just realized that the story has a lot of really interesting characters and that interested, interested me as a costume designer because um, what I do, what a costume designer does is really to bring out the characters through costumes and through what they wear. So the story of Frosty is actually a warning to us all to stay away from this magical snowman. It may seem weird that they're bringing me on as an editor so early into the project, but we're working with a lot of visual effects and we're looking for a very specific style for the movie. This film would be almost impossible to make without visual effects on a very cheap budget. Uh, we also have to discuss, you know, is this kind of shot going to work or is that kind of shot going to work, especially when we're on set. So we're using visual effects our, to our advantage as a student because we can get things much cheaper by creating them ourselves by spending tons of time in front of a computer than actually going and paying for a 1940s car or a 1940s plane. <laughs> 